Hey everybody, this is Soko Guy. I'm out here in South Central Colorado and I wanted to talk a little bit about our cool solar system that we installed here with the government incentive rebates um, and all the sunshine we get here and the cost of solar panels and equipment coming down so much, it was a no-brainer. Um, <clears throat> you know, one thing that fascinates me is people will say, well, what's the payback? Well, consider that a lot of people go get a Generac or some other system uh, for a backup power supply. And we live very remotely out here in rural Colorado. And um, so, you know, it's, it's almost a, a must-have deal to have some sense of a backup power supply when the grid goes down or you're snowed in. And, uh, you know, I guess you should ask them what the payback is on their, uh, their Generac. So um, it, it's actually pretty good on this. I get back about $50 a month um, towards what the cost of this system was for me and our power. And um, I could have totally went off the grid, <clears throat> which seemed like a, uh, kind of a cool thing, but the other side of that coin is why go off the grid completely? It's a it's a backup resource. You know, if this thing ever went down, then um, I have alternate power from the grid, and um, the grid actually will supply power to my battery system. Um, if I get snowy days and I'm too lazy to get out there and clean the snow off the solar panels or or whatever. Um, but if I would have gone completely off the grid, um, it would have taken a redundant system just like this one, and that would have been a, an investment of another 5000 more dollars plus, um, which I didn't really see the payback would be anytime soon on that. So in the meantime, anything that we need uh, in an outage, we have. Um, so, give you a few details. My my hot water heater is electric, so it's not on here. Um, my air conditioner system is not on here. Um, our range is not, but uh, we have a magnetic cooktop to plug into the wall outlet. So, in essence, we're fine there, along with a wood stove for for uh, cooking too. So. Um, otherwise, everything that uh, we need power for in this house is powered by the system. It's uh, an EG4 uh, 6000 XP. I did a lot of research and that's what I came up with as the best bang for the buck. And uh, uh, really cool stuff to know, the new Tesla 3 battery uh, system, as I understand it, costs between fifteen dollars and $18,000. Uh, for the battery system. This battery system is a 14.8, uh, 14.5 kilowatt battery. So it's it's slightly larger than the Tesla. It was $3,300 as of 2024. So um, the warranty on the Tesla battery is uh, 10 years. The wa warranty on this one's 15 years. Um, so it, it's... Uh, it's not exaggeration to say this is a hugely much better deal. Um, <clears throat> this entire system cost me uh, about $7,500. I think this was $1,600 or so and $3,300. Um, the solar panels, the steel for my um, pa uh, solar arrays, the wiring, everything, the, um, the seal tight, the clips, everything um the other the external box was uh i think a total of seventy five hundred dollars and uh that's a lot that i was able to write off on my taxes so it's been cool there hasn't been any problems i had to do a lot of uh manipulation of the controls to get it to where it got dialed in just right but you know my wife will call me from work and say hey is the power out out there and I'll say I don't know and the only way I can find out is go look at the range the clock light flashes off and on oh sure enough the power's out you know for four hours and 
it's transparent to us here. So, yeah, I save about uh, <clears throat> $50 a month on my bill. Our, our electric bill generally runs us $100 a month, and uh, 30 of that is our hookup fee. So, yeah, we're saving a substantial amount. We've had it in here for about oh, a little less than a year now, and uh, just really pleased with it. This is down in our basement, and it's a little quieter down here. And what you can see this contraption is here, I just appended a, uh, a little uh, soundproof box, basically, to the, uh, to the ex exhaust side of the, of the uh, inverter. And it vents into my um, crawl space, and then it can flow back out if it wants to on the other side. But, uh, you know, it's, it really quiets it down down here. That's... The only thing that, you know, I could call a negative about this whole system is right now it's morning and it's running at full tilt, uh, recharging itself. So typically at home, I use about 20% uh, of the battery at night. So, you know, in theory, I mean, you can go a couple of days and not need sunlight um, if you're moderate on the use. And we have a kind of a normal standard size home here. So roughly 2,000 square feet. And um, I circulate my air through my furnace system. So it kicks on every 20 minutes for 10 minutes and off. Um, <clears throat> so anyhow, we have well, what I would call normal usage in a house. And uh, I'm a ham radio idiot now. So I've gotten into that. And... Uh, so I have a lot of electronics in the house that are running all the time. And <clears throat> it's, it's really cool the way these things work. They, uh, they have controls external on the, uh, on the inverter itself, anything you want to know as far as information. And then on the battery itself, um, same thing. It, it comes up and tells you the, the status and, and then, also externally, as you've probably seen if you've researched EG4, uh, this is my little dongle for internet. So, you know, I can change values or settings uh, from anywhere else on my phone with the phone app. And I have one on my laptop too, so I can keep, you know, a good eye on what's going on. But I, I did that for several months and then I tended to just walk away because it, it never has a problem. I never have to do anything. It just works so how ours works is uh this uh this first line over here is the uh, wiring coming in from the solar panels and then the second one is the distribution back to the house um, for power and the third one is um, from the uh, power company coming back in to uh, the system if it needs to restore the battery and i have mine set at 40 percent so if the battery gets down to 40%, it says, hey, uh, power company, I need, I need a, a, a dose of juice. And it'll uh, shoot me 20% um, up to the 60 percentile mark. And I could have gone a lot lower than that, but I, I figured if it's in a bad enough way that it's, it, it, uh, it's going to need power, it may be, you know, um, a couple more days before something something uh, gets restored, we get enough sunlight back. So, um, or the power is gonna go out for a long time. It's just smarter to be on the high side. You can set it in any, anywhere you want to, but that's our system. And I'll show you a little bit more about how it works and uh, how I hooked it up with our incoming power. So this is considered an off grid uh, system. And, you know, a lot of people will say, well, do you need a contract with, uh, with your local power company? No, I don't, because it's really isolated. The only connection it has to the power company is um, whenever I call for power um, from the power company, then it does feed this. However, it's not, uh, it's, it's not really any concern of the power company. What else is going on here? So I'm, I'm isolated from it um, um, most of the time on all of my circuits. So 
it's it's a really nice system it's a great way to go if you can do it yourself uh you'll save a fortune i had to look up some math equations you know um for uh thermal coefficient for you know worst case uh cold when when it gets cold outside your battery voltage goes up and these are very well protected systems um, but the only thing that they don't protect from is over voltage and you don't want to get into that scenario so you want to be very careful when you when you do install your own system that you either have someone that's a professional take care of that portion of it for you but you know anyone can do this stuff if you have a mechanical mind and you know some electrical background a uh, little little visit of electronics or friends or family it's really not a challenge to do so it was it was fairly easy cut and dry for me and i did uh mention that i researched you know all the companies and uh <clears throat> lux power is actually the parent company behind eg4 and they have a great reputation worldwide for putting out a, a really good product as far as inverters and batteries they've been doing it forever and so eg4 i don't really understand the the marriage between eg4 and lux power but basically they put their own label on it changed some of the uh the electronics and hardware inside and uh you know called it their own and they did a great job with it too they're they're an amazing company. They have a good reputation. And, um, you know, as you can see, they supplied the battery as well as the uh, inverter. And um, so I bought mine out of Gilbert, Arizona. Um, I think there were two main vendors um, that uh, I could have got it from. And uh, so the guys down there in Arizona were really good to me. And uh, we got a pretty good deal got a good deal on solar panels used solar panels um, I guess I didn't mention those we bought 330 watt Sun Edison pa uh, panels and I think they were $54 a piece and again that was at the end of 2024 and since then I just happened to stumble onto some uh, 540 watt bifacials which believe it or not I paid $20 a piece for so solar panels are going down tremendously in price you know there's arrays all over the country and they'll go through a maintenance program where they'll upgrade and so i think even with the uh um the tariff situation with china i don't think that's going to be long term and i think we're going to see uh uh you know far more solar panels in the future at a reasonable cost so in the past that was a uh, that was a um, a big part of the why I didn't want to do it. The main reason was uh, uh, lead acid batteries. You know, if you you did the math before, even in a place where we have great sun here, which is almost twice as much sunlight as we had back in Indiana where I came from, um, as far as peak hours of sunlight, and uh, so you know, it, it I just didn't want to go with a lead acid system, but now. You know, lithium-ion uh, batteries are, are just getting cheap. They're getting uh, reliable. The longevity is awesome. And um, so, you know, a 15-year warranty, that's a whole different ball game. And then the government incentives, I, I just couldn't say no. And I'm, I'm so glad I did because, you know, we our backup power supply here nothing has to run mechanically it's it's uh it takes care of itself and you don't even know it's on you know there's no external charges like propane or maintenance on an engine and uh it can be a hassle so yeah this is this is a great way to go i'm very pleased with it it's been doing a great job for us and uh, like i said this is this is not part of the system this is this is just uh some ducting that I added and uh, it does quiet it down not like I would have liked to but this corner behind me actually radiates sound out so I found out if I put a blanket over the corner of this it it makes a huge difference but 
I'll, I'll work that out later. That's no big deal. Um, these do come with a, a, a conduit box that you can buy. I think it's about another hundred dollars and it goes between these two. It kind of makes it more of a, oh, I don't know, streamlined look, you know, takes care of all this clutter. And uh, so it wasn't worth a hundred dollars to me. This is not a high traffic area. We don't get a lot of people down here. So, um, but I think it's a, a well-made safe system. Very pleased with it. And uh, EG4 now makes several variants of this. They make, I think, a 12, 14, 18 K, 21 um, K system. And these things are amazing in that if I were to have purchased another system, say I wanted to later on upgrade, if you will, uh, this this will run, <clears throat> take care of 110 and 220 circuits on its own. So if I put another system here and I powered it on, um, it would say, do you want this system to be a 110 only or do you want it to be a 240 only? Or, you know, it they understand each other quite well. And I can put uh, multiple batteries uh, daisy chain them along with this battery if I wanted to. So if I wanted another battery for reserve power, I can just add it to this, this system right here. Or, you know, put another inverter in and another battery and say I want one leg of 110 on this one, one leg of 110 on this one. Thus, you know, you have 220. So <clears throat> they kind of think for themselves and, um, I've been totally happy. So, you know, if you guys have questions, then let me know. I'll be glad to try to answer them. And there are many, many people that did a much better job than me explaining this system. But I just wanted to show mine why I purchased it, why I decided to go solar um, after so many years of not. Um, we did have solar in our barn, and uh, it was just a backup for refrigerators, freezers. And uh, so I, I had a little background and experience with working with solar uh, units. I have also solar in a Connex container where I have a, uh, uh, a radio repeater. So I'm kind of used to playing around with solar and I have an electronics background. So I guess that was a big plus in my, my arena. But uh, yeah, it was totally simple, easy to do. One thing I think is really strange, uh, just a negative comment. So these systems, they come with these very nice Amphenol type connectors. Well, the reciprocal end of these cables that go up into the inverter, um, you have to uh, put a connector on the end of it. And it's just a copper crimp like a battery uh, connector, you know, in your car. And they do not come with them. You have to order them yourself. And, and it's a, uh, it's, I, I, I tried to ask myself, why in the world wouldn't they just put the connectors on the end of it? Well, I don't know, maybe it's a liability issue, so that you had to go through some effort of your own to, I don't know, but be aware that you do have to get the copper connectors um, to put on the end of those before you put them in here. And like I said, there's other videos out there that'll explain much better and much more detail about this particular system and how to install it so but that was just my take i just wanted to tell everyone i'm happy we had it you know for probably a little less than a year and i don't even think about power anymore so 15 year warranty how can you go wrong right so anyhow thanks for watching another video i'm trying to get back in the swing of things a little bit